welcome back to On The Topic with me, Amy V. How are you guys doing? I know it has been such, such a long time, right? <laughs> I hope you guys miss me. <laughs> so, a little life update. Um, life update, I guess. Yeah, we're going to go with that. Um, no, things have just been super, super, duper, duper, duper crazy. Um, we, I've just had a jam packed, um, month and a half, unexpected things coming up, just, you know, life, um, all those good things. <laughs> um, so yeah, so just, I am so sorry. It's been a little bit since I've been on here and recording any videos, but we are hopefully going to get back into action, um, and uploading and all of that. And we definitely got to get back on track with our fitness Fridays, um, I definitely want to keep the momentum going on those. I did lose some momentum in that time. Um, definitely failed completely in July. I mean, not completely. I was still going for walks and things, but not as consistently as I wanted to. And I definitely never had time. It just felt like I didn't have time to get the footage I wanted um, because I wanted the next Fitness Friday video to definitely be things that I'm doing as far as um, exercise and all that. So, um, so we definitely need to get back on the grind. I want to get back on the grind with that. Um, and definitely make sure that I am eating healthy. I, um, you know, had some issues going on um, with my health and then had some doctor's appointments, but everything came out great. Um, so now that's in the clear, you know, I just want to, you know, main thing doctor said was definitely exercising. Nutrition is going to be a big part um, in helping me and the way I was feeling um, and all of that great stuff. So I definitely want to get back on track with that. And um, just, you know, um, I don't, if you're new to my channel or if I've never really shared it much, I think I've shared it a little bit, but not too much in detail. Um, so, you know, me and my husband are the main caregivers for my mom who, um, you might have to do a video so you can meet my mom. <laughs> but um, she's, you know, got some, some medical um, health things that um, go on with her. And so, um, just to having to get things taken care of with her and just trying to work different things out and stuff like that that has been on my plate um, we've had some unexpected family come in um, and that are actually gonna probably be relocating here so that has filled our plate so there's just been a lot going on um, but I'm trying to get in back in my routine and get videos popping and stuff there's so much new makeup that has come out that I'm dying to try. I want to get my hands on for sure to do some reviews, to um, try some stuff out because I get so excited when I see all this makeup. Um, so yeah, so there's definitely some things that I have my eyeballs on that I want to get my hands on. So, but anyways, guys, I'm so thank you so much. I'm so grateful that you guys stuck with me. That um, I haven't really lost any subscribers, guys. Thank you so much for all the love and support you give. I know this isn't a big channel, but we still, I still love every little single subscriber I get. I definitely am so grateful. Every view, anything like that. Um, I've even gained some, a few subscribers. So if you are new, welcome. And thank you so much for subscribing. I hope you'll continue in this journey with us. So anyways, I thought since I'm just coming back today, we did do like a uh, chit chat get ready with me. I'm just um, I've been putting on makeup um, But only when needed if that makes sense like I haven't been really wearing too too much makeup I'm just trying to focus on like my skin right now my skincare um, Which is it's going okay, you know, we're these right here are always a work in progress So if you know of a good eye cream that has definitely worked for you that can combat these dark circles um, please leave it in the comments below. I would love to try it because I definitely am always looking for something like that to help with this aria. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, so let's go ahead and jump in. Um, I've already moisturized my face. I've already um, put some chapstick on. I'm actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my go-to look today. Like what I've been loving and doing, it's kind of like a not a bronzy look, but it's like using browns, and I've really been loving it. It's like super easy. If I'm not recording, I'd probably get through that look pretty quickly. Um, so I'm gonna do that look today because um, it's what I've been going to, and I'm I'm really liking it. So we're gonna pull this hair back. Kind of already getting over the short hair, guys. <laughs> I know, right? Like I'm just like, uh, maybe we should just go back to having it long. Uh, I'm trying to grow it out, but my hair takes. It grows quickly, but not as quickly um, 
as it used to um, when I was younger. <laughs> so it doesn't grow back as quickly. Yeah, so anyway, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll get some tape ends. <laughs> I've always wanted to try those. <laughs> but, okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with some primer. Um, I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay um, uh, Optical Illusion Primer. Guys, this thing has lasted me forever. I don't know um, if you guys remember when I posted the video when I had like purchased it, but um, it really, really has lasted me a really long time. And I, I still have this that I've been, I'm like, Ugh. but out of all the primers that I have tried, this one has lasted me by far the longest because it's really, really thick consistency and it, um, it doesn't take much. Like you don't need much like that is what I use. And I know it looks like a lot on camera, but it really isn't compared to what I, I'll glob on like my other ones. But this is such a thick consistency, like see how thick that is, um, that you just don't need a whole lot. And I really uh, concentrate it like in the center of my face, of course, uh, where the bigger um, problem areas with my pores and on my nose, where I tend to get oily and all like, just like mostly in the center of the face. And then I'll just kind of spread it, uh, the remainder around. And that's what I do, that's what I use. I'm sorry if you see people kind of creep in the background. I have a full house. Full house is going to be that way for a little bit, but we just have to find. <laughs> so if I have like different places that I start recording, like randomly, like in a corner or something, that's why, because you gotta, gotta make it work even with a, um, a full house. You know what I mean? So anyway, <laughs> um, so I'm going to go in with tape sheet, uh, tape sheet shape tape concealer by tarte in the color medium i'm out of corrector i need to find one and i have been using the nyx one i don't remember like in my pot but i kind of want to try a different one and i know um what is it benefit had come out with a bunch of new ones um so i definitely want to give maybe give one of those a try i've had my eye on like the eve pearl um i've had my eye on the um there's a tarte one the cc i think it's I see the clay tart Amazon and clay one. I'm not sure, but anyways, I want to try one. But what I'm gonna do this time, since I don't have correctors, this is, and I am like scraping, I'm gonna take some of this darker color. I'm gonna go in first with this to kind of try to cover up those dark that darkness, and then I'll go with my foundation, and then I'll go back over with like a lighter concealer. But like I am like trying to like scrape this thing. It's time to go pick up a new one. And I'm sorry, I'm going to load up the concealer, guys, because my my circles are, like, really bad right now. Woo! Anyways, so, so yeah, so that's what I've been doing is just, like, taking care of my mom, getting a lot of her doctor's appointments I'm taking care of. And, like I said, we'll definitely do a video with her so you can, guys, can meet her. Maybe I'll do a makeover on her or whatever. She loves getting her makeup done. Um... But yeah, so I'm just gonna go in with my Ulta sponge and just kind of blend that out. Foundation I'm gonna use today, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna use these, the Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Foundations. I'm just gonna go in with these today. So I mixed the light one and the dark one because I don't really have my perfect color in this. I don't think I've ever really even been able to find a, my color in this. So I'm just gonna mix it on the back of my hand. Um, this isn't the longest lasting foundation i mean granted you can make it work with some oh i'm sorry i forgot to i'm gonna spray my face a little bit with the milani the make it last milani i kind of go in with that first too before i go with my foundation um sorry this video is all over the place i'm just excited to be back guys recording and doing videos and all that like i'm like man i need to i need to figure out a you know a plan like when you're thrown off like that with family it's like man okay we gotta figure this out so anyways, I'm just mixing this on the back of my hand. And I'm gonna put this on. It might seem a little light, but, I don't know, it might seem dark. I don't know, we'll see. I just kinda go with it. I always make it work, guys. You know I always make it work. So anyways, I'm just gonna pounce this in. So I'm gonna go in with the, now I'm gonna go in with the Shape Tape, um, what is this one? Uh, light Medium. So now I'm gonna just kinda go put a little bit over that to kinda conceal because you can still see my my circles so I'm just gonna go in with a little bit to try to conceal those <laughs> I know guys I'm like piling it on I have to man these these dark circles want to peek through 
Okay. So, um, one of the one of the palettes I so want to get my hands on, guys. Oh, it's so beautiful. I have not wanted a palette as much as this since the uh, Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette came out, and the Maybe Loca um, is the new Heat Palette by Urban Decay. And every time I go to Sephora, it is out of stock um, and Ulta. So I'm like, ugh. and I I know I could order it online, but I don't want to. Like I want to be able to pick it up and use it. Um, so anyway. I'm gonna I'm hoping to get my hands on that palette and also I would love to get my hands on the Jaclyn Hill palette both times I have missed it and not been able to get it um so hopefully I think they're restocking in August and I hope 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 to be able to get it then I really do but we will see so but I definitely that Urban Decay palette is ooh, it is so so beautiful if you have not seen it definitely go check it out it is if there is no palette i could ever ever recommend you to get aside from the cat on d metal matte palette which was limited edition so that is no longer um i would highly highly recommend the heat palette it is beautiful especially if you love warm tones which most time people do um it's just a beautiful palette i just i absolutely love it and i'm gonna set my eyes a little bit i've been liking to set it um with the um the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette in the color Duce de Leche. I've been using the lighter color to kind of set my eyes underneath. I don't bake or anything. I just quickly set um, the uh, concealer. And I've been locking it. I've been locking a lot. So, yeah. All right. Now, I'm going to go in with my Tried and True. Guys, I have been through two of these. I had to hunt this down. This is the Wet n Wild Pressed, uh, photo focus pressed powder compact this is in the color oh actually it's this one i'm sorry actually where is it that's the wrong color here we go i'm sorry golden tan um golden tan is a hard this is my color it's such a hard color to come across though like i had to go uh, i think it was like 20 minutes away from where i'm at to um uh heb to find it and it was like the last one and um I mean, I know I can go on the website and order some, and I probably will, being, a, being how hard it is, because I've already uh, went through my other one that I bought. Guys, this powder is absolutely beautiful. Like, it just, it lays on the skin so beautifully. Um, the photo focus, definitely, I agree with that 100%. Like, it is just such a beautiful powder, and so so inexpensive like oh i cannot tell you how inexpensive to think like four dollars for something you know what model is not uh not uh costly it doesn't cost much at all so yeah so i just set my face with the golden pan kind of just go all over it sorry guys i'm gonna try to rush and not babble on too much all right then i've been contouring with my other, or bronzing up the skin, I guess, so to speak. With the other Wet n Wild um, contour palette, the one in um, Caramel Toffee. Guys, no, I love, love these. They are absolutely amazing. If you have not tried these, guys, you have so, so got to try these. It is so, so pretty. Just perfect for contouring, warming up the face, like just... And I do kind of, con I do contour with it and just warm up the whole face. Like, I just use it for both. It is such a pretty color. And I love it. I've already been through, I don't know how many of these pans I have been through. Probably like five or six. But it's so, so good. And I always usually go through the banana shade faster. Because it's a really pretty color. Even to set the under eyes with. It's real nice. This is the brush that I use to contour with my nose. So I just take it and I go right on the edges and do just that. Sorry if I keep getting out of camera, I apologize. And then what I'll do is I'll go in and buff that out here in just a moment. So because I get real sloppy with my with my contour, I'll go ahead and take um, my sponge. I'll go in on the banana side of that um, thing and I'll just kind of just quickly clean it up. I don't leave it sitting there too long. I just go in like that. 
and just sharpen it up even a little bit on the sides of the nose just to kind of clean up the mess I made <laughs> so yeah so let's do that so I just take a, a big um, this is a real techniques one but this is just like a like a, oh, a buffing brush and I just take that and I just buff away that little line it just kind of sharpens it and just kind of blend out even that contour and then I go over the nose and just do that and buff it up sorry if I'm the, oh my gosh I'm moving the camera my apologies let me move back a little <laughs> I'm sorry okay and then I'm just blending out that contour on the nose really good so you can see the shadow once everything's done it'll come together hopefully just kind of clean that up Now, all right and the blush oh no i didn't even grab blush give me one second i'm gonna grab it i'll be right back i'm back <laughs> all right so i went and grabbed the elf um the one i always use by elf that's got the four and i just take my brush and i swirl it in all of them to um apply blush and i'm just going off that so i'm so ready for this summer to be over guys i am excited for the fall to come I love fall, everybody knows, well not everybody knows, but those who have been around since the beginning, <laughs> but not really not too long ago, but um, I love the fall season, the holiday season is my favorite, favorite time of the year, so whenever like August and September roll around, I'm like, yay, <laughs> ooh, yay, so, so yeah, so I am truly excited, even though it doesn't really get too cold here, um, I still, you know, I look forward to the holiday season, so now... Um, we're gonna go ahead and brush through these eyebrows. Nothing new with these eyebrows. Still do the same thing. I just use the um, fiber filler to fill in these brows. Um, said they're I don't have perfect brows. They're not so so bad, but they do have sparse areas, as you can see. But I'm just gonna brush those to get those out the way for right now. And then give me one second. Here. Sorry guys, I'm back. I just wanted to clear off some of the stuff I have right here because I have a little bitty workstation that I'm working from today. So. I apologize. <laughs> All right, so the next thing we're going to go in with is um, eyeshadow. So what I've been doing for eyeshadow, um, I've been keeping it pretty, well, I'm not going to say pretty simple because, yeah, it's not really been simple. But what I liked, what I have been doing is going in with, sorry, um, this highlighter right here. It's the Wet n Wild um, highlighting powder in the color Precious Petals. So all I've been doing is I have been going right, just taking my finger, going right in on my lid with this and taking it all the way into the inner corner, kind of highlighting that, that front, just like that. And this has been like my go-to, so quick. I can do it definitely quicker when I'm not recording. But yeah, so that's what I do is I just put a good amount of my finger on my eyelids. And then I've been taking um, a really, you know, a really good fluffy brush, a caramel toffee one. And I've been um, going in on my crease, just buffing it out really, really nice on that crease. Just making sure that it's real nice and buffed out and a good amount on there. I'm trying to, <laughs> um, Today where I was trying to get my husband to do my make or do a makeup challenge this weekend with me, like do my makeup or something. But he's like, no. So maybe if we can get this video to a bunch of likes, let's say, I don't know, can't be a big number, right? <laughs> let's say a hundred likes. Let's just let's just go for it. Let's just go for that. A hundred likes. Then I will tell my husband, you've got to do a challenge. We gotta pick one anyways my husband's so funny he's so funny one thing I absolutely love love I love my husband so much um, for lots of different reasons but one of the biggest ones too is that after we've been married now for in June was 17 we we celebrated our 17 year wedding anniversary um, we've been together for 18 years and after all these years my husband 
can still make me laugh so hard to the point where tears are just like I cannot like <laughs> when I get to the point where I'm laughing so so hard I scream like I, because it hurts so bad in my gut and in my ribs that that's how hard he can make me laugh and my son can make me laugh like that too my middle son my um, not my oldest son my middle one but he can make me laugh so hard you know like just just I don't know he just he can he does funny faces and voices and just um he just makes me laugh and so I just I love that about my husband he still makes me laugh after all these years I love him so the next thing we're gonna do um and of course he's a great husband father and provider and just you know lots of other reasons why I love him but love that he makes me laugh still um okay so what I've been doing is I have the Jordana um 12 hour made to last liquid um eyeliner pencils these are really hard to find guys I had found these at um our local Kmart um, and they were like very slim pickings and our Kmart actually wound up closing. Um, but yeah, very hard to come across, but very, very, very good eyeliner. So I'm just going to sharpen it a little bit. So what I've been doing with this is I just take it right here at the edges. I just do a little bit just like that. And just like this. And this one I like, it doesn't dry too, too fast. So I just put a little bit like that, um, right there very close to the lash line and just like not even halfway in just like on the little bitty corner right there and then i have a very uh stiff brush here this brush right here it's like real dense it's kind of um i think it's like a little shader brush and it's real dense and like real short a short one so i just take that and i just basically smoke that liner out a little bit right there on the outer edge And I just do it like that. Just smoke it out. And just just like that. And so it kind of looks like I have a little like a little bit of shadow and dimension there, deepens it up on that outer corner, just just like a tad. So it's appropriate like for daytime, you know what I mean? Alright, so then I just also I line my my tight line and my water line with it as well. And then I go back in with that same contour shade and the same brush and I just go underneath the lash line with that powder just to shade it out. Got a little sidetracked. Okay, so um, so the only thing I did off camera was my eyebrows. I went ahead and just filled those in um, like normal with the um, the Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer. So been loving, love, love, love this thing so much. It's super easy, super fast. So just fills them in, makes them look a little bit more um, put together. And I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. I'm using the Tweezerman, um, the one that I think it's like rose gold really really good gives an amazing curl to my lashes i haven't really been using falsies um guys i've just been kind of just using the lash curler and just curling my lashes um give it a little a few pumps slightly and then bam i'm gonna do the lashes definitely let me know guys um what are some videos that you'd love to see i know i definitely want to do some reviews on new makeup and stuff and um i need to get out there and you know kind of look around and see but um i definitely want to do like a one uh one brand tutorial uh, i'd like to keep it drugstore um just so number one it's affordable I, I like trying to stick to affordable brands don't get me wrong i love makeup so much um i'll definitely splurge i i because i know i'll use it i love it and i'm definitely gonna get my money's worth out of it so i and i collect it so i will go do that it, it's not a problem some people don't want to spend their money on that you know but they definitely still want something that's going to work and look nice so i definitely want to find good affordable brands um for you guys for that purpose um so yeah so definitely let me know if there is um a brand that you'd like to see um in action um for the full face and well we can definitely look into doing that 
and we'll just do the lips to finish this look up guys and you know I always go back in to kind of mute my lips out with whatever product I have left on the beauty blender and just kind of powder it all right and I think of course the lip that I've been wearing with it is very neutral. Um, I've been going on, going in with the Wet n Wild um, Gel Lip Blenders. These are really great, guys. If you haven't um, seen these, definitely give these a try. Um, they're like $2.97. I think I picked mine up at HEB, um, but I have seen them. I think I've seen them at Walmart, I believe. Maybe not. But anyways, they are very, very creamy. They go on amazing. They have a... Um, they have quite a few colors, um, definitely some fall colors in there I saw that I want to pick up, um, but they're really, really creamy and very nice. They go on, they don't tug, it doesn't break, um, so it's really good. So I'm just going on that, and this one is in the color, um, what is the color? Bear to Commit, Bear, Bear to Comment, sorry. So I'm just going to line my lips with this. Actually, I'm going to fill them all the way in. I in with my most favorite um, nude shade by Milani called Matte Naked, and I just go right over that. And this is like my go-to, guys. This is my everyday, everyday. I have probably been through ten of these Milani lipsticks. No lie. Okay, and then the next thing I do is I top it off. Um, I've done it, I've left it like this before, but most times I will go in with a lip gloss and I've been loving, I'm scraping at the end of my uh, Bare Minerals Groovy. Um, love, love this lip gloss, it's just so pretty. And I just go in with a little bit of that. And fill in like the center a little. And that is it. Guys, that is like my everyday go-to look. I really didn't use much I uh, for the eyes. And for the um, contour, I basically used this palette right here, the contouring and caramel toffee and the highlighter. Um, I basically used these two things on my whole face. So um, bronzing up the face, um, cutting it out and sharpening it up, um, high, highlight on my cheek, on my eyes, in the inner corner, a little bit above the brow. Um, the blush I used was the Elf brush and I'll list all the stuff down below. Um, but ba basically those were the things that I used to do the entire, you know, like the, the eyeshadow and all of that. So, um, bottom lash line was the, oh, and the liner by Jordana. Um, and it's called, it's actually called Espresso Last. Espresso Last. Yeah. So this is a liner that I use. I smudged it out and then just buffed it out on the bottom using the same contour palette in the crease. That's all I have on there. And that is it guys. That's the entire look. That is my that has been like my my go-to um, when I'm in a hurry church whatever this is the look that I've been um, putting on and wearing to run errands and all of that great stuff oh ah, I almost forgot we gotta set it guys we got to set the stuff so I'm going nowhere so let me go ahead and set that <laughs> sorry don't mind my don't mind my hair um, so yes and then I just finish it off with you know my Milani make it last setting spray I love this stuff it's my tried and true. And whoo, oh, smells so good. And just fan it until it's done. Mm -hmm. Oh, little hairs are stuck. Okay. Yep. And now that is it. That's for sure the final look. So yeah, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much, guys. Like I said, for bearing with me here. We'll be back into the video. Uh, down for you guys let me know in the comments below anything you'd like to see here on on the topic um if there's a specific specific brand that you guys would like to see if there's a um like i said a one face to one brand uh face full face using one brand um anything like that definitely be looking out for a fitness friday coming up i want to get um you know some good footage in of the things that i'm doing so i can share that with you guys um, and definitely let me know if there's anything in particular in the Fitness Fridays that you'd like to do. I'm definitely open to ideas. I mean, I know there's not really too, too much we can do, but we'll try. I'm going to try to be creative with that and just figure out those, some things. Just so it's really, guys, to just keep the momentum going for, 
for for me for you guys who are out there trying um to just get healthy and fit and stay active that is like the most important thing i like we said before the weight coming off is definitely um uh, you know the benefit of it all but it, but the most important part is to be moving our body to keep it active and going and trying to make better definitely better and more healthier choices in our eating um, and things like that and just you know like I said keeping the momentum going so definitely share your ideas tips and tricks whatever you have um, and I um, will definitely uh, we'll just like I said we'll, we're gonna we're gonna jump right back on it and just keep doing it even though I may not meet my goal because I just, I really, this month and a half set me back so much. Um, I definitely, it doesn't matter. We're going to keep going and we're going to do our best and we're going to get as close to it as possible. <laughs> so, all right, guys, I uh, hope to see you guys soon. I will definitely, um, like I said, be posting some more videos. Um, so just be looking for those to come. Be sure to um, check um, out my Instagram page. It's on the topic with Amy V because I always post when I have new videos there. Um, so yeah, so definitely um, stay tuned for the next video and I will see you guys next time. All right, bye guys.